So this uh, contraption that you see here is um, my 12 volt um, little suction dredge that I made. It is a runoff battery, obviously it's 12 volt, and I hook it up to my 3700 gallon, one of my 3700 gallon an hour rule pump. So that would be what about? 60 gallons a minute, but I hook it up to this uh, rural pump. <laughs> um, how I went about making this, I kind of a lot of trial and error. I seen some other videos on on YouTube, um, but I didn't want to have a whole bunch of different joints with 45s that I worked around. So the first thing I tried to figure out is how could I get the venturi action on the on the tube as I reduced it down from the from the bilge pump down through my hose and started reducing it down so I could get a good jet on the inside of the uh, nozzle itself. So what I did is, is I took a piece of three quarter inch pipe and I filled it with sand and plugged both ends and then I, I, filled, I filled it with sand so that it was pretty, uh, there were, it would be pretty compact in there. Then I just heated it up right here and I bent it around a cylinder that I had. It was about a four inch in diameter cylinder and so I could make this venturi. So the key thing is, is if you're going to try to um, bend PVC pipe, I would highly recommend you, you get the schedule 40, the thick stuff and uh, fill it with sand, plug one in, fill it up with sand, plug the other in, just tape over it with black tape. I use Gorilla Tape. Heat it up at the area that you want to bend, which was right in here. And I put it in my vise. I put uh, a four inch cylinder and then I just heated it up and gradually just began to, to bend it. And it worked out pretty good. Um, and so that's what I went with my Venturi tube. Now for the nozzle down in this area, what I have here is a sanitary T or a plumbing Y. Um, and the, the flow comes out of my rural pump at an inch and a half. The pipe that I, or the pool hose that I hook to is an inch and a quarter. I um, insert this over uh, a coupling for the three quarter inch to one inch uh, reducing coupling. And I just, I just uh, clamp it right to that one inch. It fits perfectly in there. I glue everything together from the one inch to three quarter inch reducer coupling glue it all together, have my Venturi reducer pipe. Then I reduce this down even further to a one inch piece of pipe and into a one inch um, to the one and a half. So um, this flows into this one inch and into the one and a half. Now what I have inside here, you're not gonna be able to see this, but in order to get the jet, maybe you'll be able, yeah, you'll see that tip down in there. You see that tip that's coming out right in here? That's what I have it reduced all the way down to. I think you can see it right there. I can see it at least on my camera. So that is what's creating the Venturi jet, the jet that's coming into uh, the nozzle itself in order to um, change the pressures inside here so that it creates a suction action. So that, that, uh, that little nozzle that you see in there is I had to get a little bit uh, creative on this. I didn't know exactly what to use. I knew I needed something in there and I tried a lot of different trial and error. But what I ended up coming up with, and it was very simple, um, and it was just a common thing that I had around the house, but actually what it is, is I had an old tube of, of uh, silicone and this fits perfectly. This I just trimmed it out when I was done with it. I trimmed this end of it out. I left the collar there like that and I cut it back to um, about you know one inch in length. This collar on top of this fits perfectly inside of this one and a half inch um, opening up here um, on the sanitary Y. So I put that in there and then I made it watertight and sealed it up with the the reducer coupling from the one to the one and a half 
sealed it all up with glue. And that's what you have inside there is, is you have that little uh, um, cone off the top of, of the uh, silicone um, container. And that's what's creating the jet inside there. And it works pretty good. And so this is how I did it. I just uh, bent my three-quarter inch, filled it with sand, like I said, bent it. And then I just reduced it, or reduced it down from the one and a half, down to the one and a quarter, down to the three quarter on the, on the uh, Venturi um, on the tube here. Um, then I entered it into um, the nozzle itself through a one inch and a coupler reduced from one and a half to one inch here. But inside here is that, that little nozzle and that shoots directly down through the the uh, body of the, the dredge nozzle itself and it creates a, a pressure difference and so um, you have a, a pressure difference through here which causes an action of it be able to suck up into the nozzle itself so this is how it will look when I'm when I'm using it now on the exit part um, where the material come flows out of the water comes into the nozzle here creates the venturi action down through the nozzle which creates that suction here at the um, intake of the nozzle where you're trying to intake off of the uh, material from the, the stream so it it the water is going down through the nozzle here creating a suction action through here takes the material down this tube and it works pretty good the only problem i have is that you can't get too deep um, you know, I can't go, you know, more than two or three feet deep because it just doesn't have enough suction. I don't have get enough pressure off of uh, the, 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 the rule pump. But what I do is I do the same thing as I do my hand dredge. I just hook it up to my bazooka gold trap. I just used a, a uh, conduit hanger, a U conduit hanger, and I taped it onto the end of my hose. Then I just clamp this onto my bazooka gold trap and it works really good it sucks up a, it sucks up material really good um, I can clean off uh, bedrock clean out of little crevices and stuff with it it's quiet there's there's almost no noise at all when you're using it I have different uh, nozzles I use this one if I want to go a little deeper uh, that way I can keep the um, nozzle itself up a little higher I just put on this slide in this little bit longer of extension here or I have uh, I have one that's only about four inches long that fits in there like that but this one here is what I use to clean the crevices out it next down to a, a half inch from one inch down to a half inch and that just sits on there and I just uh, spire the pump up and this begins to suck up material and it works it works pretty good for you know what I'm using it with what um, the, you know the pressure that I get off that that uh, little roll pump that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to create pressured string through there changes the uh, pressure inside of the nozzle and creates this sucking action this venturi action into into the nozzle and it's carried down with the stream and deposited by this, clamped onto my um, to my uh, uh, bazooka gold trap that's hanging up there on the wall, patiently being wait, waiting to be used. So I've had a lot of questions about some of these contraptions that I build. I just like doing stuff, you know, and this kind of keeps uh, keeps me out of trouble. Very inexpensive to make, you know. This plumber's wise about two bucks. You know, I already had the three quarter inch uh, pipe went and bought some of these different reducers. Um, what I did have here is I, uh, on this, I, I put a uh, female coupling that slides inside of the, the Y, and then I, I have a male coupling on the, with a barb, barbed end that I slide the, t um, the uh, exiting um, pool hose onto. So I, you have to seal these up really good. You don't want to lose any of your vacuum. So you got to make sure all your seals, all of your clamps, everything is really tight so that you don't lose any of the vacuum that's being created by the Venturi action. So that's what I have. I, I put plumbers, you know, I put pipe um, tape on this, make it really tight 
So that's what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set this up up on my pool and I'll show you show you basically how it works. Okay, thanks. Okay, so here I am out at the, my pool, but you're going to have to pretend that we're out at the creek. So I got a um, deep cycle 12 volt battery there. Down inside at the end of there, there and out of a tube going into my pool is my rule pump. Of course, I got the connections there. And you can see the the one quarter, one and a quarter inch pool hose that's running to my suction dredge. And the exit is coming out here into my trusty bazooka gold trap clamped on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and all right, in, and inside this uh, this mortar mortar ba uh, basin I put some material some rocks and dirt and stuff just to show you how it the action of it and how it sucks you know the material. So yeah we're going to go ahead okay you can hear it flowing you can hear the flow you hear that Get down there, hopefully. There it is. And, uh, there it is. <laughs> Big pound. You see the flow going into the into the uh, bazooka gold drop. Now, now here's the here's the suction. You see it's starting to suck. See the material starting to come out over there. Now I'm going to get down to the bottom of it. And you see the brown material coming out through the Kazuka Gold Trap. Sucking up pretty good, actually. See, listen. Yeah, I'll rock this one through. And rock this one down the Bazooka Gold Trap. Hard to do this with one hand. Film with one hand, suck with the other. But you can see how quickly it... Quickly it... You can hear it sucking. Now listen when I get down to the... So, you can see the material, all the material that came out through here. So, so look at some of these little chunks of rocks that, that came out with it. So it was sucking some pretty good stuff out of there. See? All that? Kind of hard in the shade and the sunlight, sorry, but it's the best I can do on short notice. But that's how it works. Works pretty good. You know, it sucked that, that uh, what is that, seven and a half gallon mortars basin down in very short order and works really good tested out in the field works good in the field so anyhow if you're interested just holler and maybe i can give you a few more pointers on it but that's how it works 12 12 uh, volt suction bridge <laughs>